Oh, I didn't see you guys there. Today we're gonna be showing you how to do a Zotman curl. Let's jump right into it. Hey okay guys, so today we're gonna to be showing you how to do the Zotman curl as well as showing you three common mistakes that a lot of people do while doing this in the gym. So this is actually an exercise that's not extremely well known. You don't go and see someone doing this every single day, but here's how it works. It was created by a guy named George Zotman, and uh, this was, I believe, in the 19th century. And basically how it works um, is you're just gonna curl up right here targeting the biceps, pronate out, turn downwards, and this is gonna target the forearms. Okay, once again, up, switch to the top and then put it all the way down on the forearms and this is great especially if you guys are trying to grow your forearms as well as your biceps and it's a fun variation just to switch it up so make sure to try it out numero uno is nice and simple it's when you curl up you're kind of not fully getting that rotation that transfer of tension from the bicep to the forearm so you're coming up and you're only doing a little half kind of switcheroo to a hammer curl bringing it down okay so you want that full rotation from supination try to rotate to pronation and control on the way down with the tension being on that forearm let me demonstrate with some weights so I'm curling up, squeezing. I want a nice rotation. I want nice control. Right down, extend that bicep. Come back, pull up. Nice rotation, down. What I don't want to be doing is this. And a little lackluster movement like that. You need that full rotation, transfer that tension, and control that negative. Number two is not utilizing the curl effectively, so this can be a root issue either way. Tempo is gonna be your best friend. So when you're curling, you need a good extension. You don't want those arms back. When you're hooking like this, I can only half rest. I want those arms positioned in front of the body with control, good supination. I'm coming up, squeezing, big contraction. I'm getting that rotation, just like I said in the last tip, except here, I want to slow that negative. We're all in here to get that forearm work. So we're not in a rush to do a super heavy weight. You want to use a weight that's appropriate to you. Um, Zotman actually was a strength, like power builder, strong man, whatever. And he only used 50 pounds and he was a strong dude. So he really advocates for control, a slower movement, getting a contraction, a nice slow negative, where you're really controlling and using those forearms to fight the momentum and the gravity that's pulling you down. So really get the most out of it by using tempo. You don't want to just grab your heaviest weight, squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop. Really make the most out of it. Utilize mind-muscle connection and think about the muscles you are working. All right, number three is nice and simple. It's just using too much of your back to kind of cheat the control. So if I'm curling up with my back, and then I'm using my back to kind of control the weight on the way down like this, that's not what we want. We want tension in the bicep. Keep that back straight, really squeeze those out, squeeze those glutes, this is gonna be your strength position. You need to stabilize that core and let the arms do what they do. So they're gonna pull up and they're gonna have all that tension, the forearms on the way down, they're gonna control it. Once again, what I don't wanna be doing is cheating the motion going like this. You can see it just turns into me tilting. I'm gonna throw up my back and we don't wanna do that. And that's it guys, this is a very simple exercise but something that a lot of people will tend to mess up. So make sure to give it a try and give it a try correctly. First link in the description, we have a free form guide to teach you all of these cool exercises so that way you're doing it properly. Just pull out your phone, check it out and it's very simple and you can look at it while you're at the gym. So make sure to share this video with a friend, please, it'll mean the world to us. We're trying to get all these videos out to everyone and help every single person on YouTube who's trying to get big and get strong. And uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Peace out, guys.